Assalamu alaikum. As promised, this is a quick video about accumulation points of a set uh, of R. So uh, we give first definition. If R is a subset of R, uh, point X of R is called an accumulation point of I. If in every neighbors, uh, if uh, for every neighbors of X there exists at least one point of R different from x in other words if uh, uh, a is a subset of r a point x of r is called an accumulation point of a if for each epsilon greater than zero the intersection between a which is a subset of r and the uh, uh, open interval x minus epsilon x plus epsilon without the point, the point X is different from the uh, empty subset. So uh, we denoted, uh, we denote uh, the uh, accumulation point by I prime. And the accumulation point can be uh, empty. For example, so we will, uh, we are concerned with A, which is equal to the uh, closed interval one, two. Then we will um, prove, we will show only show that the accumulation points of A, which is equal uh, to I prime, it's equal to one, two uh, interval, uh, closed interval. <laughs> so if we have a, a closed interval, so its uh, its um, accumulation point uh, points are equal to itself. Uh, for this, we distinguish several cases. The uh, first case, we take uh, given x from the closed interval one two. So we will uh, we will write uh, the intersec intersection between a and the neighbor x minus epsilon x plus epsilon without the point x and this is equal to open interval maximum between one and x minus epsilon epsilon x the minimum between x plus epsilon and the two, which is different of the empty set. And we will, uh, we will focus on two uh, special points for x equal to one. So uh, we uh, replace x by one. So we get a intersection with one minus epsilon one plus epsilon without the uh, point, the point one, which is equal to the max between one and one minus epsilon to one. Union one, the, 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 the mean, the minimum between one plus epsilon and two. Here, the maximum bet between one and one minus epsilon, it is of course one. And we keep uh, the, the interval, the main interval uh, in its, uh, its, um, uh, in its uh, case, uh, its uh, state, so sorry. So here we have one to one. So this is an empty subset, and we uh, we we keep one the open interval one the minimum between one plus epsilon and two, with uh, which is for sure different of the empty subset, <laughs> because if uh, we have one plus epsilon so uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the equality it is equal to one one plus epsilon which is different from uh, the empty subset phi uh, else if uh, it is equal to one two uh, for sure it is different from the empty subset 
we do the same thing for the special cases, so the, so the special case x equal, uh, equal to two. So we repeat the, the same uh, operation to get a intersection with two minus epsilon two plus epsilon without the, the, the point, the considered point, which is two. And this will give us uh, the maximum, the open interval, so the maximum one, two, minus epsilon, two, union with two, the minimum between two plus epsilon and two, which is two. So this is an empty subset. And we uh, keep uh, the maximum between one and two minus epsilon until two. <clears throat> so if the maximum is two minus epsilon, the uh, interval becomes two minus epsilon two, which is different from the empty subset. And else, if it is equal to a one, so we get one, two, which is for sure different from the empty subset. <clears throat> now we will focus on the points X, which are in the complement of A, which means minus infinity one, sorry, union, here we have union, two plus infinity. So if we take x less than one, we get a intersection with x minus epsilon x plus epsilon without the point x, which is equal to one x plus epsilon. So as as epsilon is is uh, positive if we take epsilon equal to 1 minus x over 2 because we suppose that x is less than 1 so 1 minus x is positive so if we take epsilon equal to 1 minus epsilon over 2 here we will get uh, an empty uh, subset. Why? Because x plus epsilon, if we take epsilon equal to one minus x over two, will be less than one if it, uh, if it will, uh, if it takes a value less than one, which means this is equal to, to uh, infinity. And we do the same thing with x uh, greater than two. We repeat uh, symmetric, symmetrically, symmetrically this, this operation for x greater than two. If uh, you have understand what um, it is right here, right and what it is right in here, you can uh, you, you can be able to, uh, to do the uh, example 0, 2, dot 2, and uh, 0, 3, and uh, 0, dot 4. Uh, I think that uh, the same idea, exactly the same idea, uh, can be, um, can be um, used. An advice, uh, try to draw, so the, uh, on R, the A, which is equal to one, two, closed. And uh, so it permits you uh, to, uh, to uh, understand uh, more and more better. I will finish with, uh, with isolated points. So isolated points, if we uh, find, uh, just, just, it is sufficient if we uh, find just a uh, neighbor such that uh, the intersection of A with the neighbor X minus Epsilon, X plus Epsilon is reduced to uh, the um, closed, degenerate closed uh, interval. Here, uh, we have to pay attention about epsilon. So we choose epsilon, if we can choose epsilon, uh, uh, little 
as we want to make this equality true, th then we can we can affirm or claim that uh, X is uh, an isolated point. For this example, we can do for A, which is equal to the closed interval zero, one, there is no isolated point here, but for N, uh, beginning from two, all these points are isolated point. Why? Because we can find uh, for each point of two until uh, N, we can find uh, an open interval centered at the desired point such that for example three we take three minus uh, minus uh, one half which gives us two uh, point uh, five and the three point five and this is uh, uh, an interval open interval which is a neighborhood uh, for three and we can conclude uh, thank you very much. Uh, see you uh, in the uh, 